All right, this is Guadalupe back with the final Master Cup in VR. Um, this is the first attempt at the AX Cup, and usually, based on how my AX Cup runs goes, uh, this should be the only attempt. Because honestly, I think this is one of the. I think this might. I don't know if it's because of the difficulty of the courses, the difficulty, or just my preference. I feel like this actually might be the easiest master course, master difficulty cup to win, even easier than the ruby. Uh, if not, then only slightly more difficult than the ruby. Um, because, and I'll talk about it as we're going, which I'm going to go Mighty Typhoon, because I haven't gotten his video yet, and it seems like a decent vehicle. Um... So, yeah, the AX Cup. You get this for getting Master Mode and beating Master Mode and all the other cups. Um, this is one of those things which, as a kid, I... Uh, I'll air up plus screwdrives up here. Um, as a kid, this is one of those things which, before the internet... I mean, not before the internet. Before stuff like YouTube and was had really existed... I had the player's guide for this game, and so I knew that these courses existed, and I also knew that I was not good enough to unlock them, and I kind of just, and they kind of just became like mythical, because I didn't get to see them in any real form beyond a few pictures in the player's guide, no videos or anything, um, and that was just the way it was. Um, and when YouTube came out, I never honestly looked up a video of these courses. So two years ago was really the first time I got to see them in action. <laughs> uh, and it turns out I'd call this like the guilty pleasure cup almost. Because obviously, I guess for those who don't know, which I feel like if you're watching this, you know, um, AX is the arcade equivalent to GX, which actually came out first. And was another way, and these tracks were the only tracks in F-Zero AX. Um, and AX had like a steering wheel and shit. So more like an arcade racer. Sign in. I should really just be focused on driving. So it's more like an arcade racer. And just like that, we're already done with the first course. Um, so it's more, it's an arcade racer. You have like a steering wheel and stuff. Uh, and so these courses are a lot wider and they don't try and kill you like 90% of the GX courses. They got plentiful, plentiful uh, heal zones. Uh, they get longer and longer as they go because they want more play time and there's like checkpoints and time extensions and shit in the actual AX game. I've never played AX, I should say. Um, but basically what this means is these are a lot of courses where you get pretty much to boost like 90% of the races once you get to boost, uh, which makes them just kind of pure fun. Like the difficulty ratings here after like the first couple courses are just wrong because they're really all pretty, well, maybe the next one might be right, but they're all pretty easy courses. Uh, so up next already, we have Outer Space Meteor Stream. Um, the only Outer Space track, which is weird given it's only an AX. Um, which is a shame because this, first of all, this venue is awesome. And second of all, this course is awesome. I genuinely like all of the courses in this cup except for the next one. But like, this is such a neat, it's like technically a tube track, but if you race it correctly, you should like never really get on the other side of the tube. But it's like really icy and just the switching between ice and regular just looks awesome. And like this spiral looks cool as shit. And trippy. But yeah. It's just really kind of awesome all around. Uh, I got full energy so... It says a night and meet like split path thing where if you have full energy you can just go to the right here and get some boosters. Uh, my rival is in first, which is concerning, although the boosting hasn't started, so I guess it's really just preliminary. Let's see if I can kill her. Missed. Alright, let's just do it the old-fashioned way, then. Right. This heal zone is a little hard to hit, and I did not hit it very well, so I'm going to have to take the outside path here, which... 
my experience doesn't matter too much. I mean, my fry is still up there. That's not good. Maybe save a little bit of boost so that I can take the inside route from the ending here. Uh... Alright, now we can just kick some ass. All the way. Bye, fuckers! Yeah! Two firsts. But yeah, no, that's just a really fun course all around. I like the split path thing at the end because it creates situations like that where I'm like, I'm going to, that first pit is kind of hard to hit. So I'm going to kind of deliberately save health so that I don't have to 100% nail it. Uh, and then I can take the inside at the end. Just really, just neat fucking course. Uh, so two first places already. Going into my probably weakest course out of these, and I think both in terms of my performance and I think just in terms of how fun it is, uh, Port Town Cylinder Wave. Uh, if this is a weird one because it's a cylinder, but, and I think, I'm guessing they did this because it probably just makes it easier for uh, the arcade. It's like a cylinder that's been squashed. And so, like, you can flip around it, but it gets especially in vr it gets super disorienting because like you'll fly into the air sometimes and it can be hard to tell what the correct side to be on is uh it's just fucking weird like you flip around i don't know it's like very jarring and especially this part coming up because the road splits and i'm trying to and you can either go left for boosts or right for healing. And if you're on the upside down portion of that, it can be very difficult to tell like what the where the fuck you're supposed to go for the pit. Um, it's just weird because it's like it's a cylinder level, but it's a cylinder level where you don't really want to go around the cylinder too much, which kind of fucking defeats the point, I guess, to me. And I'm just not very good at it. So I guess in the end it boils down to mad because mad. Look here, where's the pit? Right, okay, we're good. Except I really didn't even need that because I didn't even use that much boost, but whatever. I usually finish in the double digits on this course, I'm not gonna lie, I'm just not. As I said, I'm not very good at it. That's my health. Pretty decent. This course isn't as long as it usually feels like right now. I don't know. Maybe I'm just doing better than I usually do. Okay. So it's going to be pretty essential that I... Okay, I'm just going to... Oh, nope, nope. See, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> we're starting to get confused. Okay, we're good. I just wanted the pit. I think we can almost boost the whole rest of the way. Where am I? I am going the wrong way. Holy shit. I... Holy... Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> this is... This might be the first time I'm ever going to have to have lost a life in the AX Cup. Because... <laughs> I literally had no idea where the fuck I was going anymore. And now I'm probably going to crash out for like the first time ever in the next two courses. Because that's just been how these recordings have been. But whatever. Uh, I think that incident though kind of spoke for how... <laughs> like, I don't feel like I would have been nearly as fucked up if I weren't in VR right there. Because when you're in VR, it's just super fucking jarring as to like when your whole world is like... I'm looking around and I have no idea which way is up and which way is down. But yeah. I mean, now that I'm playing this right now, I don't think this course is that bad. Obviously that I that was that was on me, honestly. That whole incident. And the fact that it's in VR. It's not on the course.
it's like it's just weird though because I feel like for these cylinder levels you should be like having fun flipping around the cylinder and shit. And it feels like the best way to play this course is to not do that. Like it's almost to treat it as just like a normal road. Yeah. Oh god, it's happening again. Okay, well it's not boost right there, and now we're good. I also don't really like the way this, this ending is so weird. I, mean, I don't know. Ooh, I'm running low on health. That's not good. Hopefully nobody crashes into me. Uh, okay. Well, oh, meant to get that, but I guess not. Okay, let's not just start going in circles. The car wanted to go in circles, I just told it no. I think I just got second. It'd be awesome if I got first though. Damn, okay. So yeah, still a good finish despite everything. Um, Oh yeah, we're already, see, we're already at like 293, like we're cruising. I've literally used tracks for this, uh, I forget which one this is, Mighty Hurricane, Mighty Typhoon. Um, I've literally only used this court, this vehicle for two laps before filming this, so this is Mighty Typhoon, okay. Uh, so Lightning Thunder Road is like the ultimate guilty pleasure course because it is long, it's got a lot of fun turns. It's in lightning, so it looks cool. And plentiful pit lanes. It basically is just like, fucking how fast do you want to go? <laughs> but also still like tries to trip you up in that quest. It just feels really fun to play. See if I can get some kills just to uh, had something weird happening. In there is one teeny tiny spot that worries me in the final course, but it's very minor. And if I'm not a good idiot, it should be a problem. But yeah, I think lightning honestly might be my favorite venue in this game, just because the lightning and rain itself is cool. First of all. And the music, while not something I'd want to listen to outside of this game, um, I think just complements the course perfectly. Oh yeah, and then there's this silly bit lane. <laughs> Back and forth. And that's the final one for this turn. And now we start doing a few like wavy bits. And that is the lap. Now we've been going for a minute and 20. We get to really push the pace here. I don't want to push it too hard right now because this is probably the longest stretch between heal zones. I don't like that that's Black Bull, because he can end me. So I'm just playing it a little safe because of that. God, that turn is so satisfying to get around, and it was like perfectly timed the music. I know I'm not doing super great in terms of placement right now, but I'm probably playing it a little safe because I'm down a life and I see Black Hole trying to fuck with me a little bit. Um, but man, this course is just so satisfying to drive. 
Well, see? He's trying. He's trying, I'm telling you. He knows what's up. He knows what he has to do in order to win the cup. Pretty much just boost the whole way now. Except maybe that turn. Full throttle, baby! Yeehaw! God, that course is so fun. I think that might be my favorite course. It, it's such a, like almost like a baby answer because it says it's a five out of six difficulty, but it's not. It's really not. It's really honestly easy. Um, but it's like the turns are just tight enough and just interesting enough. It's it's almost like it's almost like it's trivial to drive around that course. It's more about just how fast. Just go fast. Go as fast as you fucking want, and see how well you can do. So we are 90 points ahead going into Green Plant Spiral here. <laughs> Have I mentioned that this is probably the easiest cup to win? Six out of six difficulty, complete bullshit. It is honestly not that hard of a track. Uh, the AI can catch up pretty well on the final like turn in this course, but other than that, it's pretty fucking easy. And the only bits that I'm really kind of worried about is near the beginning, there's gonna be some silly shit with gravity. Uh, I just have to remember once I'm in this pipe here to go around to the other side of the pipe because I have forgotten to do that before and died. That's pretty much all I have to remember. And then from here on out, it's just a long, 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 long gauntlet of random shit. Uh, I don't know. I mean, this is a fun course. It really is. I, I actually feel like this course is too long for its own good. I'm sure it made sense when it's in the arcade and you got like checkpoints like that and like time extensions and shit and you're really giving your money's worth for going for the hardest course in the game, supposedly. But like in GX, it just doesn't hold that same punch. But it is fun. It is a lot of fun. Honestly, I think this cup on average probably has the most fun fun courses. They're not the most demanding or challenging or anything, but they're all just a lot of fun. I don't remember that leaf effect being so intense in here. Yeah. The AI on this course is weird because you can open up a huge gap on them pretty easily right up until this point where they like really start trying to come back. And it seems like no matter how well I do that tends to be what happens in this course. All right, now we get to go. We can pretty much boost this whole section because there's health right after. I mean, I guess I can fall off on those little bits there, but I'd really have to fuck up to do that. But yeah, we can, we're opening up a little gap in the CPU. I can open up a bigger one if I wanted to, but I'm just going to play it safe. If I had the extra life, I'd just go all out, but... Oof. That was bad. Okay, now here's where the AI starts trying to kick some ass. Take some names, usually. Ow. Helped by the wall, and it helped my bit rate did not tank right now. Holy shit. I know you can't see that, but boy, that was nasty there. It was like running at 15 frames a second. 
But yeah, we're already in the last lap. We're near the front of the race. No worries. I mean, even if we don't win the race, we'll st still be... There's no fucking way we're going to do bad enough for anyone to catch us in the standings. I can boost through these sections, which I normally don't do a ton of. Shit. Let's see if we can bring this home. Damn it! Jody Summer! Damn you! Ah, well, who cares? But yeah, like I said, easy cup, honestly. But, yeah, that is going to do it. Uh, 486 points. Everyone can kiss my ass. I guess the technical wasn't as good as... Uh, well, actually, points-wise, it actually may have been better than... I don't remember what place I got in Sand Ocean in the first cup I did in this whole thing. Uh, but, yeah, no, that's already it. Um, solid, easy win. Uh, as I said, I, I don't really only use this core, this vehicle for like two laps ahead of this just to make sure that it was suitable for VR racing because I didn't want to use like something that slides around a lot. Um, and yeah, seems like a capable enough machine to take on that, that's for sure. Zero TV. I also felt like it was fitting because I think he's supposed to be like an F-Zero super fan. Who has brought you heated race after heated race? We'll now present an interview with the champion. Okay then, I'd like to ask you something. Uh, he's just gonna say F zero. Uh, any regrets? Is there anything you wish you'd done in the F zero? I forgot to get Captain Falcon photograph. Thank you for the oh. interview. And that's all for Adrenaline Driven F zero TV. It, Boy, we'll the way that belt is animating memory. does not look anything like how that belt should be animating. See you next time. Except there won't be a next time, because this was it. So let's watch the video and wrap it up. That seemed like an appropriate ending. That was me when I was doing the Sapphire Cup for this. Yeah, and you get as many tickets as you did for the damn Diamond Cup. That is a fucking rip for the Diamond Cup. But that'll do it. F-Zero GX, great game. And really love another 3D F-Zero game, please. But probably never gonna happen, so still stuck with this one. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you stuck through this, I appreciate it. Uh, probably not going to be any more. Certainly, probably not any more F-Zero VR content or anything. Um, I mean, I guess I could do the story very hard, but I'd just as soon rather actually try and win. I'd rather try to escape an actual exploding power plant in 40 seconds than try to do Chapter 5 in very hard mode again. Uh, if you are headset or not. So that's probably not happening. Um, but yeah, uh, so that's probably going to do it. Thank you very much for watching. See you later. Goodbye.